Hi everyone. Hi everybody. In today's video, we are going to be doing IBX treatment. Yes. IBX treatment. And we're gonna be using our new Boston Tech infrared lamp. Ooh. That we just got. So this is very nice. exciting. It's like a standalone unit. And you can see the video of that unboxing. unboxing. I'll put, put a link below. Mm -hmm. So um, yes, it's a heating lamp, heat lamp, and it helps the IBX treatment to penetrate the nail. So it improves the quality of the natural nail. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Okay, so let me just install our fancy camera and we can start the treatment. Fancy camera. Alrighty, so we're ready for our treatment. So we are going to be doing IBX treatment. We're gonna be using IBX Repair and IBX Strengthen on these nails, because these nails take a lot of, uh, I don't wanna say beating, but they're taking a lot of polish. They take a beating. No, they don't. Yes, they do. So, you know, multiple removals can dry out the nails. So I thought that we are going to start IBX treatments maybe on a weekly basis, see how that goes to kind of help these nails. So what is IBX treatment? IBX treatment is a treatment that with the use of heat absorbs into the nail plate, the first layers of the plate, nail plate, and reinforces the nail. So once we're finished, it's going to look like you have, that he has like nothing on his nails. So the product is in the nail. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing to chip, nothing to remove after two weeks. Um, you can obviously repeat the treatments, but there was nothing to remove, which is great. And we're going to be using our... We're going to be using, like I said our earlier... Our dangled Boston Tech Infrared Light Bulbish. Yeah. And so I removed the polish with acetone. You want to make sure that you remove the polish really, really well. So uh -huh. there is no... Um, there is no residue of the nail polish because if there is anything on top of the nail the product will not soak into the nail all right so i'm just going to clean them up again with alcohol just to make sure because you know alcohol is always good <laughs> especially the drinkable type and normally you would want to do a manicure before but a dry manicure so if you don't do dry manicures then i would suggest filing the nails to shape and then doing the IBX treatment and then doing the rest of your manicure. Yes. All right, so now the IBX repair is designed to be applied in visible damage. So if there is any delamination, which is like the peeling or any breaks or any like surface major damage, um, we don't have that here, but we're gonna use it anyway. Why not? Right, why not? It's why? not gonna hurt. Why the heck not? Exactly. Can... So you wanna make sure that the brush is rub, um, cleaned off so there is not too much product. And you also don't want to be um, touching the skin because there are ingredients in this product that can be irritating to the skin. So you wanna always keep it off the skin and um, yeah, not, not touch the skin. So there is, you wanna apply a thin coat. It doesn't have to be perfectly applied. Um, you just want to make sure that the nail is covered. If you have any major delamination, then you want to kind of like place the product in that little um, area and just let it kind of fill in with, with, this, with this product. But we don't have that. Before gel polish, you also want to use this, this um, repair, IBX repair. So now, imagine a warm piece of toast and putting butter on top of it. It's going to melt, right? Yes. Into the nail. So this is the same thing we want to do with you the treatment. Into the toast. Into the toast, yes. And we want to do the same thing with this. So now, we're going to put the hands Under underneath the lamp. the lamp. And you can be kind of like this as well, or flat. So this doesn't have to be super hot. It has to be around 40 degrees, which is about 140 degrees Celsius or 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So that nice warm kind of a feeling. Uh -huh. And you want to leave it on for a minute. So we have a timer here. So we're going to start and it's going to sit there for a minute. This seems to be the best um, hand positioning because this way you can um, 
you can heat up the thumbs properly. We actually have a thermometer here trying to measure what the temperature is. So th right now it's 35. And climbing. And climbing. And climbing. Okay, it's been a minute. I'm going to turn off the lamp. Okay, so if there is, obviously there's going to be a part of the treatment that did not absorb. If there is a lot of the unabsorbed treatment on the nail, you wanna dab it off because we wanna make sure that the product does not um, cure onto the nail, but it cures into the nail. So we're gonna put it under the light now. And it's cured in the LED UV lamp. And you would cure it, sorry for the movement here, for as long as you cure your gel polish. Okay, so it works much better when you have two lamps, which we do. And now you wanna wipe this off. So you, you wanna make sure that you're not rubbing it into the skin because there's still a little bit of product that's on top of the nail. So I'm gonna grab a different piece. All right. Okay, so the next step is to apply the IBX Strengthen. This one has a little bit um, thicker formula. I mean, it's not thick, but it's not as watery as the other one. So again, you're gonna apply it over the nail. I kind of like to almost like rub it in. Kind of like wiggle the brush a little bit so the product rubs in without having to apply too much of it. And what I'm doing is, I'm doing like a first treatment. When the clients are coming back on a regular basis for this, these treatments, which are recommended, mm, I think between one week to every two weeks, you can then just apply one coat of this treatment. I know I'm being confusing. Let me finish this and then explain the rest. So again, keeping it off the skin, doesn't have to be perfect. If you missed one area, it's okay because it's going to kind of soak in and redistribute itself. All right, so now again, we're going to apply our heat. So if you don't have a um, infrared lamp, you could use a regular bulb and I think it was like 60 to 60 watts or something, but those bulbs are not available here. And you can also use like a gentle um, nail dryer that has a warm, warm heat, I wanted to say, has a warm setting. So we're gonna leave this under heat for four minutes. Just like with the previous coat, with a soft cotton, I'm going to dab off the excess. without touching the skin. And we're going to place the hands under the UV light for a full cure, the recommended amount of time that you would cure your gel polish. Okay, it's cured. And again, just like the last coat, we're going to clean it up with alcohol. They are starting to look better, eh? Have you noticed? It seems It just looks look a little much. bit smoother. I mean, it's not a, a huge difference, but it's visible. So now, yeah, it looks better. So now we're going to again use IBX Strengthen 
in a thin coat as well. But this time we're going to leave it on only for two minutes. So how do I feel about the ABX treatment? Because I've been using it since the first came out. So I don't know how many years it's been. Um, it works for some people. I find it doesn't work very well for people with naturally bendy, weak nails. You almost see that the product is not penetrating those people's nails. So I find for those people, hardeners, like one with, for example, dimethyl urea would be a good idea. But this is great for people with surface damage from nail polish or gel polish. It makes the nails just feel better right away, it makes them look better. Again, it's not a miracle, but it does help, especially when people, you know, use their oils and they are um, taking care of their, their hands for sure. This is also great for pedicures. So for example, when people decide not to have polish in a, in a winter, I would definitely, instead of polish in a winter, do IBX treatments. Very, very good idea. That way, um, you're not spending additional time doing it and you kind of nurse the nails back to health in the winter and in the spring the nails are going to be in much better condition okay so now we're done with this we're going to apply the heat again gentle heat for this time two minutes two minutes so this hand positioning seems to be kind of the best because this way the thumbs are getting enough Heat. heat and the thumbs are usually quite damaged because people use them quite a bit now mm -hmm. okay so now we're going to again what are we gonna do dab off the excess yes you guessed it right right because it's heat up heat it up dab off the excess and we're gonna cure it for the in, 18th time today. In, into the lamp, into the la um, the nail, my God. <laughs> now the product will be permanently part of the nail. Permanently. Yeah. All right, cure. I just wanna make sure that there is no product left uh, on the skin and in a second we're just going to discuss what we feel how we feel about this product but let's look at the nails first I'm going to do this twice of course guys don't forget to like subscribe hit the bell notification button if you haven't already go check out some of the links we have in the description box down below we greatly appreciate it that's, of course, if you like the content. Mm -hmm. I'm going to snip this little thing because it's just driving me crazy. All right. Okay, so this is final look. So you as go. you can see, there is nothing on top of the nail. The nails look a little bit more shiny, a little bit more healthy. Now I would apply oil and cream. And let's talk about how we feel about this product. Okay, so there was pros and cons. You see a lot of really amazing before and after pictures, but what you kind of might be missing is the fact that the after pictures are after like 12 weeks of treatments. So sometimes I kind of wonder, like when people have a lot of damage to their nails from let's say, you know, gel polish or like some other enhancements, that damage would grow out anyway. It's uh, over six months, not 12 yeah. weeks. 12 weeks bi-weekly treatments, wasn't Correct. it? Okay, yeah, so it's six, so it's six months. Okay, so six months. <coughs> so, you know, if there was like a major damage that's not being repeated, that would grow out anyway, right? So I have seen some pictures of like really ridgy nails or pictures with the habit tick when people have the, the thumbs severely kind of damaged from picking at their skin. I don't know. I, I can't really tell you from experience if the treatment would help that. No idea. But 
it is a nice treatment to use after when clients uh, switch from gel polish to natural nails. I would definitely recommend doing one or two treatments. When it comes to using this product under gel polish to protect the nail plate, personally, I haven't seen a difference. It's almost like two steps forward, two steps back. I've done the treatments on one hand and proceeded with a regular soak off, regular um, gel polish application on the other hand for weeks. I mean, maybe three, four applications. And I haven't seen a difference between the hands. So, because I was trying to see if it would help the white spots sometimes that people develop after repeated gel polish soak-offs and applications and back and forth, right? I really didn't see a big difference. What I've seen, sadly, was that sometimes with the IBX treatments, the product did not last as long, which was a problem. So, you see, the problem is a lot of clients don't have enough patience to see... to wait, how do I explain it? For so many treatments to really see the results. They really have to be aware that this is something that has to be used on a, ver on a regular basis for a long period of time to really see the results for some people. For some people, like I said, with the gel polish removal, the most difficult I found to kind of treat are clients that don't come for regular manicures they come in once they want to get the treatment and then they want to have major improvement to their nails that i did just did not happen especially with peeling nails initially the peeling area was kind of sealed with the product but when they came back because i asked them to come back a week later to see their nails the peeling was the same so for those clients i would recommend regular oil use, like they have to change their habits so the nails don't get damaged, right? Because if they don't change their habits, I don't think the IBX is going to help. So it's it's help, but it's not a miracle. I'm kind of conflicted on... On even that? Uh, from my experience and just my observations, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm conflicted on its... Um, the effectiveness because mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. there's a lot of variables there's a lot of yeah. it depends um is this a a one stop shop no no does it work in some situations yeah. some for but some i mean point. and even within those situations there's there's a lot of variables but it does work for your nails with ongoing usage yeah yes even after we did one treatment because we kind of did it we thought what the heck we'll do mm. the treatment because they were kind of after so many mm. soak offs and the next time, remember, we took the polish off, and we're like, wow, the nails are actually better. They did right? look a little bit better, yeah. yeah. Um, but it's not, again, it's not that kind of before and after miracle that you see in advertising. It's not a miracle pill. Yeah. It's not, you know, you use it once, and you're going to have these dramatic no. changes. This is a, you use it all the time. Yeah. It's a continuous thing. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. yeah. As I said, there, there's a lot of, I'm conflicted, there's a lot of mm -hmm. uh, variables and, and a, a very big, well, it depends kind of situation yeah. with this. Mm -hmm. So, I think it's a part of, if it's a part of a, a really good um, regime that you have um, with your nails, it could be very helpful, right? Which but would you start with good yeah. food, good sleep. Yeah. It's, you know, good, uh, healthy habits with your nails, you exactly. know, lots of oil. Lots of, you know, creams after you yeah. wash your nails, no picking, no using your tools as uh, using your nails as tools, yeah. not using harsh soaps. You know, the alcohol it's cleansers a are piece a killer. It's a very big exactly. puzzle. It's not exactly. just, it's going to cure all your problems mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. your nails. It, it's something you add into a much bigger picture. And of it's like, I would get, of, yeah. yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. I'd be focused on the, the bigger items yeah. before mm -hmm. I would be going to that. Exactly. Point, you know. Because very often in, in our industry, people, <clears throat> Um, are coming to us because they're looking for a solution for us to fix something. Mm. But unfortunately, I'll be honest, the solution does not exist, kind of. Like this miracle solution does not exist. Um, they still have to really take care of their nails 
and change their habits in order to see um, a, a difference. Like even one manicure, the way I do manicures, I do very gentle manicures, amazing results. Two, three manicures, if the client is on board, great, mm -hmm. great improvement. But the client has to be on board with the treat with the home care, mm -hmm. and the manicures have to be done on a regular basis. We can't fix poor lifestyle habits mm -hmm. of the client. That with is on them With half to an fix. hour manicure, yeah, exactly. Like it just this is part of the solution. I can help you to take care of your nails yeah. and make them look pretty, but the health really comes um, from your lifestyle, yeah. from the client's exactly. lifestyle. Yeah. So you Let know, know you overall, think. yeah, uh, we're really curious. What your experience is with the IBX treatments? Uh -huh. If if uh, if you're interested in starting, if you're interested in um, offering them maybe to your clients or not, I know one of our clients, uh, one of our viewers, Marta. She was uh, we were talking about, it and she kind of has a very similar experience as we do. Like yes, it does work, but for some people. So just we kind of wanted to make you aware of what our experience is with the product, and we're very curious to make a more. What your, um better educated decision yeah, if this is something for, some for you to be offering as a uh, service or if it's something that's worth actually trying on yourself yeah yeah right? definitely yeah but, okay uh, i mean anyways guys i'm gonna put some nice yeah. cream and we're done with this video as well and by the way with the with the manicure and everything else this takes about uh half an hour yeah so manicure, a dry manicure takes me about 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And when you're working with two lamps, this takes about another 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. So. And by the way, guys, if you're wondering how I would rate this service, I would have to rate it as okay. What service? That I've just received. Really? Yes. Well, Do you want to know what? Why? You didn't use my oil. Oh my I'm God. disappointed. Ugh. Wow, next time I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm just I'm kidding, guys. I'm having some fun. Just. You know, yeah, don't, his don't birthday cake. Serious. His birthday cake. So, the, well. the day of. Actually, yeah, birthday cake, which is kind of funny. Um, the day of filming this, it's actually my birthday. Yeah, so he should have got. Okay, you're gonna get your birthday cake on top of Yeah. Your okay, so. Oh, I'm sorry. I just. Uh, this one has a very lovely just smell. You. It really does. Oh, and by the way. This one has a very. This is really nice it smells great it's got this very i don't know what that smell is but it's really earthy good earthy smell yeah earthy but in a good way in a very uh, yeah well it's i i can't put i know my i know hand, my finger on it it's well i can but yeah um it, it's got oh it's like a is it eucalyptus oh, like, kind of a little bit oh, I, I can't open it help me i know this this thing is kind of i'm gonna use my nail hold on, so, hold on, hold on. I, I need to sniff it Different. Oh, I can't. Hold on. It reminds me of the mint and you. Yeah. Eucalyptus? Yeah, but it's not um, like typical minty. No, but it reminds me of. Uh, is it Bed Bath and Beyond? No. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a candle, but it's much better. The candle was like annoyingly minty. I couldn't stand it. Eucalyptus kind of yeah. smell. It was too That's heavy. That's kind of what's. But this is way better. It's milder. Mm hmm. Yeah, and it's yeah. It's not By the just way, I enjoy that smell. I enjoyed that candle and also the um, the bubble bath. Oh, the 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 bath salts or something. Huh? No, no, it wasn't oh, the salt. Yeah, 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 Actually, okay. yeah, there was a salt which I used, which was great. But there was also like a bubble bath <clears throat> um, that goes along with it. Anyways, too much Anyways, information too much for information. you guys. This we, is we it. Keep rambling. Hope you liked the, uh, the Lots video. Lots of edits. Hope you liked the video and let us know what you think about everything. Okay? Alrighty. Thank you so much for watching.